Hello, in this hopefully short video, I'm just about to revisit the abandoned car dealership in Derbyshire, very close to where I live. If you've watched the channel for a while, you'll know I promised to do an update on this yearly. I've been doing it for about three years now, just really to document the cars. And I think the last time I visited was October 2022, so I'm a bit late this year, it's December 23. Thanks to Paul from Live to Drive, my friend Paul, releasing a video earlier this week, for me at least, um, documenting a lot more about the history of the site. It's kicked me arse into gear to actually thinking, Christ, I haven't been and done this years. So thanks, Paul. Also, there is a playlist of my videos and any other video I could find about this car sales place um, on the channel and that'll be linked at the end if you want to watch any of them including Paul's video. So I'm just going to pull up safely on Castle Road and stick the camera through the window. Right, so it's a while since I've been, as I say, October. I think the last time I came, all the ground had been cleared and we did think something was happening, but apparently it was just some sort of prohibition order on the owners from the council to get it tidied up. Um, I vaguely remember as well, the gates were open and I was so tempted to go in, but didn't bother. Um, I have driven past a couple of times during the summer if I've been going somewhere and noticed that uh, the cars have gone downhill a lot. Also did notice that at one time the bonnet was up on the Maestro. But just looking now from memory, I can see that we have got major damage that uh, has been added to. You can see that <laughs> I'd need to go back and look through my videos, but you can see that the, the windscreen and all of the other windows have been done in by the looks of it now on the Maestro. The number plate has gone and the grill looks smashed. Uh, yeah, it looks like the only window that's still in is the, uh, the rear one by the looks of it. Very sorry state. I think the Cavalier has fared even worse. That was in pretty good condition at one time, but now is looking grim. Let's just have a look at that one. So yeah, if memory serves, I think the uh, windows were pretty intact on that. Clearly not now. Also looks like all the wheel trims have been had away. I'm fairly sure this was fairly complete on some of my last visits. Just have a look. I know the number plate was complete and is now missing. But yeah, same with this one really. All the windows have been done by the back one and all the, uh, all the wheel trims have gone. So anybody who says, why haven't they been saved? Can't you save them? As I get commented on the videos a lot, Anybody can save them or could have saved them, you know, three years ago. These were pretty, pretty decent. Um, and I did put all the contact details up. So, you know, I was never going to save them, but they're definitely, well, I think they're past saving now, to be fair. What is surprising is the, uh, the Maestro still has all four wheel trims on it. Um, which you think someone would have had them away because I guess they could have sold them on eBay, you know what I mean? Clearly someone's had the the Vauxhall ones away for a reason. But yeah, it's, it's sad to see. Yeah, I just think that's a really sad sight. I mean, I think it was 2002, so we're 22 years now since these cars were actually for sale. They've lasted a lot longer than the rest. And as I say, if you look at the playlist, you'll see from years ago, there were many, many other cars, but really since I've been coming, I've only ever documented these two. But I think that's a sad sight for me. You'll have to excuse the road noise. Obviously I'm by the side of a busy road. So 
Will these cars still be here for my 2024 visit? I can't see them not being, to be honest. They've been here for so long now. But it's a shame to see. But I will keep coming. I know these videos, it seems mad that I'm documenting the same thing, but I, I kind of think I'm obliged to. So, as I say, there'll be a playlist up here somewhere with all my previous videos, Paul's video and anybody else's video I could find on the internet. And uh, yeah, have a look through. Let me know what you think. As I say, past saving now, so please don't say to me, why don't you save them? I was never going to do that. Thanks for watching.